Mm. And that is the three o'clock kickoffs. Up nice and early, shower's done, things to get done. It's actually a very good reason as to why I'm filming the kitchen and what was the utility room. It's been like this with these cabinets, I don't know, 20 years? <laughs> and uh, yeah, finally I'll take in the kitchen. So yeah, the only reason I came out was to hoover the inside of the car. Man United kick off at 3 o'clock today, and I intend on watching them on TV. Yes, I know you're thinking, but you can't watch 3 o'clock kickoffs here in the UK. Let's get some snacks. I just realised what a proper single bloke's fridge I've got. Proper 12, weighing with gin. What's that? Fire, Jack Daniels, Honey Jack Daniels, Bonded Jack Daniels. On the next shelf, Proper 12, Apple, Vodka, and Monster, mayonnaise and shit. And then <laughs> Dr. Pepper, and Corona. I got to drive her. I actually finally got to drive the Falcon. It was in a car park, there was nobody else around, but what an experience. And it got it's a good way of getting used to the car for you know later on down the line, you know. It's, but what an experience. It's something I'll I'll never forget. There's something that cropped up the other day that was which quite annoyed me. It was on the the night Everton beat Liverpool. <laughs> They're actually currently one deal, nil down to West Ham as well. <laughs> um, but there was a Man United game on and I couldn't watch it. There's something in the UK called a 3pm blackout where no game, no football game is actually broadcast at 3pm. Why? Well the idea is that if they don't put football on, if they don't put Manchester United, Liverpool and all these other teams on TV at 3 o'clock, it will encourage people to go down and support their local team. It's like saying, if we stop broadcasting men's football, the men will just watch women's football. No, I want to watch what I want to watch. I'm paying £36 a month, something like that, to... Now TV or Sky Sports to be able to watch as much of the Premier League as I can. So when there are games that I can't watch because someone else has decided I should go and support my local team, it annoys me a little bit. Luckily, I found a way around it. So it's actually super simple. What you need is a good VPN. I used NordVPN. Now VPNs and this whole process isn't illegal, but I can't tell you which service. I ended up using because I don't want to lose access to that service. Very unlikely that will happen, but you know, then you find a country that broadcasts the Premier League 3 p.m. kickoffs. It's not that hard. And a service within that country that actually sh streams it online. <coughs> I mean, the VPN was a one-off payment, two years, 80 quid, and then because I'll use it for other things as well. Um, but then the service in pounds works out around four or five quid a month. 
Mm. And that is the three o'clock kickoffs. I wish I had watched that now. <laughs> oh well, season's over. See you next week.